Hello, my name's Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Solhenge and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now one of the truths about who you are is that you have consciousness and in fact the very cells of your body have consciousness too and this has already been proven by the science of quantum physics. Now what does that mean for you as a human in terms of your health? What it means is that you can change the way you physically are and your health by thought alone. And the reason you can do that is because your cells respond to consciousness. Now, with the old Newtonian way of looking at physics and, you know, biology and, you know, how the world worked, we believed that um, what you were born with, your genetics, was, was what you were left with. You know, if your family had um, um, a predisposition to diabetes or heart conditions or cancer, it was, we, we thought that, you know, it would be very likely that that's what you would inherit. And this also applied to things like, you know, alcoholics in the family or a depression in the family. And um, so basically, up until recently, it was thought that we were victims of our genetics and victims of this world and the circumstances we live in. But what was discovered actually really quite early on, but what's becoming more normal now and understood with quantum physics, is that basically our cells, our genetic code is not a read-only file. You are not a victim of your genetics. So the way the cell works is that basically you have your mucous membrane, which is the edge of your cell, and what they have discovered now is that your mucous membrane responds to the outside circumstances in which it's in. So basically it responds to the way you think and feel. And then what the mucous membrane does is it tells the nucleus which in turn decides how the gene code should change or not change. So basically, if you can convince your cells that they are in amazing conditions, that they're happy and that we're fulfilled and that we feel good, then what happens is the mucous membrane then tells the nucleus, which then changes the genetic to act accordingly, to act as if it is in a healthy environment. And so it will blossom and it will grow and it will flourish. Now, adversely, if you are going around feeling depressed or feeling as if life is not giving you what you need or really feeling your aches and pains and believing that you are ill, the mucous membrane of your cells will tell the nucleus who will in turn act upon the gene code and make the genes feel as if the cell is living in adverse conditions and the cells themselves begin to die and get ill and mutate. Now, that is a huge discovery in terms of our well-being and our health because it means that by meditation alone, you can change the way your body is. So you can change the way your body feels despite the external circumstances to which it's in. And this also means that if you are in the throes of a disease or in the throes of a mental condition such as depression or anxiety, it means that over time, with concentrated effort and daily meditation, you can actually change the circumstances of how you physically are. So bearing that in mind, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to share a meditation with you which helps heal your endocrine system. Now the endocrine system is consisted of all the glands in the body. So that's your testes or your ovaries, if you know, depending whether you're a man or a woman, your pancreas, your adrenal glands, your thyroid, your hypothalamus, your pituitary and your pineal gland. And all of those glands together, they regulate the hormones in the body, they regulate how your organs function and your growth and your overall well-being. They're, they're, they're basically imperative. And with the meditation that I'm about to share with you, you're going to learn to rebalance and bring all of your endocrine system back into equilibrium. And all we're going to do is we're going to focus on each of the glands in turn, and we are going to make them feel and believe as if their conditions are perfect, as if they're in the most amazing conditions ever. And that in turn is going to affect all the cells within each gland. And then that, of course, is going to affect the whole way that your body is. Now, 
if you are feeling if you if you have got an illness or you're feeling awful in some way then what i would suggest you do is you would do this meditation every single day for about six weeks because it's going to take a while to to change the kind of metabolic the cellular structure of your body because you're going to be taking it from adverse conditions into excellent conditions and this can take a, a little while and a little focus and attention but what will happen to you when you're doing this meditation is you are going to immediately feel the benefits of this meditation if you're a highly sensitive person who's been meditating a long time and your extra, extra sensory perception is quite um, in tune, you're going to feel a vast difference with this meditation already. But I think even if you're not used to meditating, you're going to feel this. And the reason you're going to feel this meditation immediately is because we're going to use two different types of energies. One is the energy of gratitude because gratitude implies that something is already healed and perfect and wonderful in this present moment. So it's an amazingly highly elevated vibration to use for healing. And the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the imagery of smiling. Now, what happens when you smile? Ding! So when you feel somebody's smile, you feel better. But when you smile, what happens is, is there's a chemical reaction inside your body and endorphins are released. Chemicals like um, serotonin and dopamine are released into your blood system, into your blood system just by the very act of smiling. And that's why even if you're feeling, you know, really low and you make an effort to smile or somebody makes me laugh, makes you laugh, you immediately feel better. And so what we're going to do is we're going to protect Tend in this meditation as if each of those glands within the endocrine system is smiling and you will feel you will actually feel each of those glands radiating that smile. And that's why you're going to be able to feel in the meditation a change already. And obviously just thinking about smiles and sending smiles and gratitude into each of your glands is going to start releasing different hormones into your bloodstream and that's going to make a huge difference to how you feel and you're going to create circumstances around your glands which are the best conditions that they could be in and then the um the the cell membrane is going to react accordingly and change all the cells within your body so i'm going to stop talking now and without further ado we are going to do the meditation so i invite you to sit up if you can for this meditation but if you need to lie down that's actually fine for this meditation because the more relaxed state in the better it is but please try not to go to sleep which is quite a common occurrence if you're new to meditating okay so um i will explain where each of the glands are um, as we go along in the meditation in case you're not sure where each of those glands are. So don't worry, I'm going to completely talk you through the whole thing. So when you're ready, I ask you to take a breath in and a breath out. <sighs> Just letting go of this conversation and all the things around consciousness and how you might be feeling right now and your day and your week and even your year. And as your breath goes out, <sighs> you're just going to let go of everything and you are going to close your eyes. So just shutting your eyes now and you're just going to begin to listen to your breath and you're going to feel your breath weaving its way in your body and out of your body and you're going to allow each breath to completely relax you. Feeling that security and that knowledge that the breath is always with you. Breathing in and breathing out. Just feeling the calmness of the constant presence of your breath. And now, I want you to bring your attention to the gland found in the middle of your head, your pineal gland. So that's right in the middle of your head, a tiny little gland 
shaped like an acorn. And you are going to focus all of your attention on this gland. Breathing with the gland, focusing on the gland. And now, using your breath, your will, and your imagination, I want you to bless your gland with gratitude, thanking it for all the work it does. This master gland in your body, helping to regulate all of the hormones throughout your body and bring you health. So really sending all your gratitude into this gland, really thanking it for the work that it's done for you and continues to do for you. And as you send your gratitude into this gland, I want you to feel the gland responding, responding to the emotion of gratitude, to the thanks that it's being sent. And as you send this gratitude, I want you to see your gland beginning to smile at you, to smile back at you, beaming and radiating, so grateful for the thanks that you have sent it. And I want you to feel this gland radiating, the radiance of the smile as it feels appreciated. And seeing every cell within that gland responding and radiating also. The whole gland lighting up with the appreciation of what is being sent to it. And taking a few breaths here, I want you to drop your awareness just a little to about one inch below the pineal gland and a little bit further back. Landing to meet the hypothalamus and resting within this gland that looks a little bit like an umbrella as it leans up and over the pituitary gland which is below it. So focusing on the hypothalamus, I want you to begin to send all your gratitude into this gland, really feeling how much appreciation you have for this gland, for all the work it does for you, day in, day out really sending your emotion, using your imagination to show this gland your appreciation. And now seeing your hypothalamus lighting up with a smile, smiling, smiling with all the consciousness that it possesses seeing it smiling and responding to the deep appreciation that you are sending it. And as it smiles, seeing every cell within the hypothalamus gland also lighting up and radiating light and good health, basking in this appreciation. and taking a few breaths here 
and really feeling those glands, the pineal and the hypothalamus, beaming and radiating health. And now dropping your awareness just slightly below the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland, known as the mistress gland. And beginning now to send your love and your appreciation to this tiny little gland that works so hard for you, day in, day out, helping you to regulate your hormones, sending out all the right chemicals so that you can stay in excellent well-being. So sending your love and appreciation to this gland. And as you do so, beginning to see your pituitary gland light up with a smile, so happy and delighted to be recognized and noticed and loved. And as this smile lights up your pituitary gland, seeing all the cells within that gland light up and begin to radiate immaculate health, beautiful light. And taking a few breaths here, just feeling those three glands in your head all lit up and radiating from your attention. And dropping your awareness now to the thyroid gland near the bottom of your throat, which is shaped like a butterfly and helps to regulate your metabolism. And as you connect and focus on this gland, really sending it all your love and all your appreciation for all the work it does for you every single day, for all it has done for you and all it will continue to do so. And as you send this love and this gratitude to this gland, really beginning to see a smile appear, seeing your thyroid lighting up and radiating happiness and balance and well-being, so delighted to be basking in your attention and your gratitude seeing the luminosity of this gland as it comes into harmony through the focus of your gratitude. And glimpsing all four of your glands lit up and happy, moving your attention lower still to the thymus gland which is found in the middle of your chest, near your heart area. And as you focus on this gland, begin now to send it your love, to send all your appreciation and your gratitude for the work it has given you, for its place in your body, working hard every day to keep you in balance and wholeness. And as you pour your gratitude into the thymus gland, beginning to see it light up and smile, radiating health, radiating light, and well-being as it responds 
to your intention and your love. And pausing here for a moment and feeling the difference in your body at this point in the meditation. Feeling your top half lit up with the energy of smiles and appreciation. Noticing the difference from when you began. Feeling the lightness and the energy of the experience. And moving down now to your adrenals, two glands which sit on top of each kidney. And as you see these glands in your mind's eye, really beginning now to send them all your attention, all your love and all your gratitude for the work they do. Sending your love and beginning to feel little smiles appearing on each gland. Smiles of recognition. Smiles of being appreciated. Smiles radiating out and as the smiles grow bigger, each cell in the adrenals lighting up and coming into harmonious balance, perfect alignment, allowing well-being to pour in through the recognition of gratitude, feeling every cell lighting up and radiating harmony. And taking a few breaths here and just feeling your adrenal glands basking in the gratitude. And dropping your awareness now to the pancreas, which is situated behind your stomach. And as you focus on this gland, beginning to send all your love, all your appreciation, that bountiful gratitude for all the work your pancreas has done for you, pouring in your love into the gland and seeing it bit by bit, cell by cell, lighting up in response to your attention, beginning to radiate a smile, beaming happiness, beaming balance, beaming well-being and taking some breaths here, just feeling the change in this gland, how your glands love to have your love and dropping your awareness now to either your testes or your ovaries. And as you bring your attention to these glands, beginning now to send with all your intention, all your will and all your imagination, love and gratitude for their existence for their hard work, for all the gifts they bring you. Sending all your gratitude into these glands and beginning to watch them change and respond, lighting up with the attention, 
seeing little smiles appear of beaming recognition and feeling their smiles changing every cell within these glands, feeling them glowing and responding. And so now, just coming back to your whole body, feeling those smiles, that gratitude, that radiance coming out of you, lighting up your whole being, bringing your whole being into balance, into peace, homeostasis, all of your hormones gently and easily beginning to flow in wellness. Every gland within your endocrine system now reset, ready, beaming, light and easy. And knowing that you can do this meditation every single day and find your way back to the greatest of health with the power of your mind, your intention and your emotions. And when you're ready, very gently coming back into the room and opening your eyes. So that was it. And if you're feeling anything like I am, it's kind of radiating smiles all over the place. And I feel really alive right now, really beaming all over my body. And I did want to say one thing. Um, I myself don't have a thyroid and there may be... Um, you know, some of you out there that have had problems with your glands or don't have glands at all. Now, even if you don't have a gland, you will still have the energetic frequency of that gland within your body. And you, so so really there's a sort of energetic form in there and you send that into the gland. So if you have, um, so what I'm attempting to do, so I had cancer when I was 30 and um, I went down the conventional route and it was just a complete nightmare. And um, I'm glad I did because it catapulted me into alternative medicine, which is why I'm here. So it was a gift. So what I'm doing with this meditation is I've decided to regrow my thyroid with this meditation because I know it's possible to regrow your thyroid. So I'm going to just regrow my thyroid. But if you have thyroid problems, and a lot of people have thyroid problems in it worldwide, now it's becoming a real thing because there's so much stress in the environment you know chemical stress emotional stress mental stress you know we're living really hyper lives then then doing this is going to bring you know your thyroid into balance if you're suffering from something like adrenal fatigue um you will literally see your adrenal glands in this meditation once you get good at it just calming down and there are a lot a lot of people suffering with adrenal fatigue right now you know this is what you know there are, there are a lot of problems because of the you know the high functioning lifestyles that we have decided to live. And um, again, if you're looking at a spiritual road, your endocrine system is one of the roads in order to have deep meditations and merge with consciousness. Because of course, you've heard all the activating of your pineal glands and everything. So the more you can regulate yourself physically, the more you're going to be able to catapult yourself into deeper and deeper meditations as well. So overall, this is a fantastic to med meditation to do, whether you're in good health already, whether you want to be able to deepen your meditations, or whether you have um, health issues that you want to fix. So, um, yeah, I hope you really enjoy that. And as I said, try it for six weeks if you're not feeling very well or if you've got issues. And let me know what happens. Thank you very much for listening.